Hello, welcome to Trosel Talk. I am Michelle Trosel, and this is episode 28, Why Do Some Children Write Backwards? Or The Interesting Case of Mirror Invariance. Humans have only been writing for about 5,000 years, and for most of that time, the majority of us couldn't actually read. For that reason, our brain has not had the opportunity to develop areas specific to the skills of reading. For that reason, we need to co-opt areas of the brain for those skills. One area is the fusiform gyrus, right about here. That area of the brain is responsible for identifying faces and objects. We use it during reading to recognize letters. In our earliest days of life, we realized that from no matter which direction we look at an object or face, it's still the same. So when my infants would look at me from this side or this side or upside down as I was leaning over them trying to get something or change a diaper, they knew I was still mom. Let's look at this as an example with a chair. So whether the chair is this way or this way, this way, this way, this way, or this way, it is still a chair. Now that's the area of the brain we use to look at letters. So I can look at this super cool letter with a stick and a circle this way, this way, this way or this way. Now, each of these letters actually has their own identity and spells a unique sound. Our brains are very tricked by this. So what does this mean for our children? Well, here's an example from my four-year-old who's learning to write her name. Her name is Jocelyn. In this picture, she drew a sun, a circle, some grass, other decorations that look the same no matter which direction you would look at them. However, her name is written from right to left, and you can see that she has, in fact, mirrored every single letter, because to her, it's all the same. A few weeks after that picture, she wrote her name like this. You can see that she's now beginning to write from left to right, but she still has some mirroring in that letter J. So what does this mean for us as teachers? Well, first of all, let's just tell children that this is how it works with letters, that even though letters look similar, their direction makes a difference. Let's include some multi-sensory activities. So having students trace on a table or air writing while they're saying the sound that that letter spells. It's also helpful to have some letter formation scripts that are different for different letters. So for example, for the letter B, start at the top, pull down, then make the circle. When you're writing a D, start with the circle, then go up to the top and make your straight line. And here's a very important reminder. Writing backwards is a very developmentally appropriate process in learning how to read and write. It is not a sign of dyslexia. All right, that's all I have time for, but I have lots of resources for you on the S'more, so please go check them out. And as always, let's continue the conversation. You can find me on Twitter at Trosel Michelle.